Hi, my name is Karen Carreras Hubbard. I'm the coordinator of library services, and I'm going to show you how to access the Ovid databases from off campus. Now, if you're on campus, you'll have no trouble getting into our A to Z page and just getting right into the Ovid database. But if you're coming from home, you're going to start probably with the college's main page, which is Brookshire Community College's page. And from there, you're going to scroll down to the BCC library link right here. And from there, it'll take you to the BCC library page, which has a lot of information on it. But where you want to go is to the A to Z database list. Now, there's two ways to get to Ovid. You could click O, and that will take you to all of the databases that begin with the letter O, which would include Ovid. Or you can go up to Subjects if you want to see all of our nursing databases. And go ahead and click Nursing. And as you can see, there are 10 databases listed, and there's Ovid Nursing Journals. Now, the nice thing about Ovid is it's a kind of unique in that it was put together for us. It's a Clovers Walter product, and it was put together to include those journals that are not in any of our other databases, uh, American Journal of Nursing and Nursing. And I think nursing uh, is incredi made incredibly simple is also on there. Um, so it has a finite number of publications, but it is specifically was created for BCC and BCC nursing students. So if you're coming from home, you're going to have to sign in. And um, mine is remembered, so I have it uh, set up so that it, I can get right into it. And it will take you here. And the next step you want to take is you want to click, just click Nursing Journals at Jonathan Edwards Library. If you go ahead and click the one on top, it's going to give you just abstracts, which are summaries of articles for a lot of different um, uh, journals, but not necessarily the full text. And so this right here is that specific Ovid collection. So if I click Nursing Journals, it takes me to the search page, which is right here. And uh, let's see, well, uh, let me begin. Before we search, I'm just going to show you um, so you can see the journals that are in this database. If I click journal on the top here, just so you could see that finite number of publications. So uh, there is the American Journal of Nursing, and you can see the dates covered, 1996 to 2023. Dimensions of Critical Care Nursing, Home Health Care Now, home health care nurse, men in nursing, nursing, which is, I think, of the two most important. It is, they are probably AJN and nursing, nursing critical care, and nursing made incredibly easy. So those are the, the only journals you're going to find in here that are full text. Now I'm going to go back to the search, and I'm going to go ahead and do a search. And one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to ask for the last three years. So I'm getting more recent articles. Uh, depending on the type of homework assignment, if it's something historical, you can go for the last five years or for all. But for something uh, recent, especially if you're looking at uh, uh, pertinent best practices, current best practices, probably something between the current year and the last five years is what you want. So I'm going, going to hopefully, hopefully spell this right. <laughs> Catheter. Oops. And I'm just doing a real simple search here. And it's really slow. That's the only thing I have to tell you. This is uh, Volters, uh, Volters Kluver is um, a Dutch, so uh, it's from Holland, a uh, Dutch database. And sometimes I think we're going all the way to Holland to get our uh, responses here. Um, so I'm going to... Uh, pull out a couple of different types of articles. So the first one I'm going to take a look at is number two, evidence-based practice for peripheral intravenous catheter management. So this is an evidence-based article. Uh, so it's going to be giving you um, information that you could use on clinical in clinical practice. Uh, it's not really long. Um, it does set forth, uh, you know, planning, assessment. It's it's basically a how-to kind of an article. Uh, how you can uh, send this to yourself is you can email it, 
in Jumpstart. And this is, it's going to send you a URL in this case. Uh, in that case, you may have to sign in again. And when you sign in from home, you're going to sign in as though you're, just as, as we did in the beginning, you saw me sign in. Um, you're going to use whatever username and password that you use to get into your uh, my BCC. So it's probably your BCC email address beginning with S and then whatever password you have. And that's what you would put into um, if you had to sign in once you email this to yourself. So you're going to e put your email here and then if you get the email, uh, you may have to sign in again. And the reason why I say that is this part of the email um, right up here where it says easy proxy, that is actually the sign in. Um, and so that the reason why we have all these restrictions is that only our students get into these databases. So that's why you have to authenticate, you have to sign in, uh, because they're very special. They're, they're, they're uh, paid for, they're only for our students and specifically bought really for our nursing students. You can also email yourself a PDF a PDF jumpstart. Um, so it'll do the same thing, but uh, your jumpstart URL again has that. If you notice that easy proxy helm, that means there's probably going to be a login when you get it uh, in your email. You may have to log in again. If you don't want to do that and you're somewhere near a printer, you can always um, print, uh, print, well, print preview. Um, you could save the article to text. That's something you can do. Um, so, you know, you do have those options. Uh, I'm going to go back and I'm going to look at a different type of article. Okay, so here's one that's more of when you think of an article that is more like a scholarly kind of article uh, that is some sort of a study that was done, an analysis. So, and you can tell that because uh, after the abstract, uh, it tells you about the aim of the study, the design, uh, the results and the conclusion, but you will, if you, as you scroll down, you'll see methods that were taken, study design, instruments and data protocol collection. So that's a little difference than an evidence-based type of article that you would use on your clinical, uh, that you would use in practice. This is something more of a scholarly type of of uh, article that you know you might put into a research paper um although you you know i'm sure you could garner stuff from here that you know you might you know want to use but um they're giving you statistical analysis and research ethics and all of that and discussion so it's a longer article um even though it's not super long so another example of a of a type of article you can also uh article as a pdf if i click that here you have the article as a PDF, and then you can, again, here's a printer. This is where you want to print from, or you could download it, and you could save it to your, to your computer, uh, download it. You could have done this with the other article, too, um, but you want to look at it as a PDF and then either print it. If you're, if you're using a, uh, a computer within B, at BCC, then you could, you know, go ahead and uh, print it to a BCC printer, but you can't print to a BCC printer from your laptop, unfortunately. But if you download it to your computer, then you could print it from home if you wanted to do that. So that's kind of basically it in a shell. Um, you know, there are different types of articles that you'll find in Ovid. They're on a number of uh, journals and magazines. Uh, probably the most popular are American Journal of Nursing and Nursing. Uh, you will find uh, evidence-based practice type articles. You will also find scholarly articles. I'm just going to go back to this one real fast because this is the first one we went to. And then again, if you wanted to print it, there's the article as a PDF. And you could go ahead and print it or you can save it if you wanted to. And as you can see, it looks like, you know, it's like you've copied it, you know, um, it's a PDF of the article, you know, it's as, though, it's as though you had the article in your hand, actually. So that's kind of it in a nutshell. I hope that helps uh, helps you. Uh, Ovid is a great database. And if you have any questions, uh, our, our nursing specialist, as far as, as librarians go, is Andrea Robert. Uh, you can reach her at arobert at berkshirecc.edu. Um, and she would be probably the best person to talk to about resources that we have in the Jonathan Edwards Library that are nursing resources. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.